It's gonna be mine! <laughs> I'm Rob Dimension, this is Dimension Chat, and let's chat about my pet monster. Now this, this is my pet monster. Isn't he cute with the little nose and the fur and the handcuffs? It's like bringing your own convict home. Mom, the pet monster's gonna show me how to build a shiv! My Pet Monster was released in 1986 from American Greetings. It was a plush toy designed for boys. Did I have one? No. The good news is I just ordered one and it's on its way now. In 1986, it spawned a live action movie. The movie's about a young boy who's exposed to a statue. And he changes into the Pet Monster whenever he gets hungry. Now, of course, being a fan of My Pet Monster, I had to seek this VHS out. It also spawned an animated series. The animated series continued to follow the story of Max, who now has the monster, and only his sister Jill and his friend Chucky know the secret. The monster, to maintain his secret, when he wears the handcuffs, he actually becomes a stuffed animal. The sister is actually voiced by Allison Court, who some of you may know as Lunette from The Big Comfy Couch. Why do I need a My Pet Monster? I'm not really sure. It's just one of those nostalgia things. And I'm pretty sure a lot of other people out there need them too. I mean, hey, monsters need love. Hey, that's the door. Guys, it's here. It's here. Let's open it up. What the shit is this? You're not a my pet monster. You're an imposter. Get out of here. Sadly, that's going to wrap up this episode of Dimension Chat. Hopefully you go out and you find your own pet monster while I find mine. Don't forget if you like this episode, make sure you click subscribe, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, make sure you comment, and until next time, we'll see you soon.